What on earth is this mess? Ladies and gentlemen, that is the future 40 acre off grid property, eight by eight foot chicken coop mansion. Just picked this up, me and my boys. Local couple had this uh, in kind of like a townhouse. It's like one of those, um, I don't know, tough shed brand, but it's one of the like Lowe's or Home Depot, kind of mid or lower grade, um, $1,500 ish or so sheds. We had to dismantle to get out of their backyard. That is a tire from a trailer. This is a weld about the same quality as what I can weld purchased from Harbor Freight. So evidently our road being kind of bumpy, it used to attach right there. Actually got to Home Depot in town a couple weeks ago when this happened and realized that I was missing my spare tire. Kind of glanced down, saw this and thought, what the hell is that? And realized that's where a tire once was. And then I proceeded back along the highway, 20 some odd miles driving as slow as possible to try to see if I could spot this tire. Also to see, um, and then when I got to the dirt road, three and a half miles, took my sweet time to look for this tire, only to find out that it was within 10 foot of even leaving our property line. It fell off within the first like 300 yards. So anyway, got the tire back, which is great, it's brand new. Got this piece, I'm gonna have to figure out how to weld that on there. I did buy a welder recently and I don't know how to weld. So that'll be a skill set I'll be learning uh, down the road. Anyway, get back to this. So we're gonna do a 10 by 10, I mean, sorry, eight by eight, kind of a tough shed, cut it in half, ripped it out of these people's yard. Um, got it pretty cheap, pretty inexpensive for the cost of wood right now. I'm looking for anything I could. So I like to build stuff from scratch, but I couldn't build this from scratch for even close to the price I picked up the wood. So um, not a super exciting video. Just wanted to kind of touch base. I'm gonna be making an eight by eight foot chicken coop mansion out of the property. There's a base, it's on a couple skids, a couple four by four skids, some maybe half inch or three eighths or so um, OSB. I'm not a fan of OSB, same other videos, but for the chicken coop, that'll be fine. Um, the chickens probably won't be that picky. And if they are, you know, maybe I'll upgrade it for them as we get new chickens. So plan on doing about 30 chickens out there. We've done chickens in the past at our previous home we owned up in the mountains. I, we had 10 chickens. Um, produce a ton of eggs, super fun, man. Their personalities are super rad. Um, had some that thought they were humans, some that thought they were chickens. One that thought it was a cat, I don't know. But anyway, they were just, they were just funny. So they're cool and they produce a ton of eggs. And like I said, um, we were still feeling, feeding them vegetable scraps and a little bit of mashed stuff here and there, the stuff that typical chickens would eat. But um, delicious eggs and they produce quite a bit. And like I said, they're really fun. Play with our dogs, it was pretty hilarious to see their interaction. So anyway, uh, just a little prequel video. Probably before the end of the month, uh, I'll be setting this up on the property. Nice thing, this has some ply too. So they went back, went with this originally on the base on this OSB, and it looks like they came back and threw on. Um, I think it's like half inch thick ply at the bottom there. So I got some thick ply that goes on top of this. So this will be an amazing base for an eight by eight, like I said, shed style chicken coop. I'll build nesting boxes on one side. I'll take another side and partition it off in the exterior to where you can reach in and get like the supplies for the chickens, water bowls, things like that. Um, you know, if we do mash or, or uh, alfalfa or hay or something like that. So it'll be a really nice, like I said, chicken mansion. So it wasn't that old. The guy only had it at the property for maybe a couple years, it looks like. It's not really all damaged or nasty. I'll probably throw one more skid on it and I'll put it up on some, uh, some uh, posts or some pillars or piers, I guess, like I did with our uh, tiny house we're building right now. Uh, tiny house, I should have that dried in completely by the end of the month. So next trip out there is gonna be a whole lot of moving, uh, putting wood up and uh, resurrecting a couple different, uh, erecting, erecting a couple different structures. So stay tuned, eight by eight foot chicken coop mansion. Oh, we'll also do a chicken run on this. So we'll have an eight foot wide by maybe six foot uh, tall, by 20 foot uh, long, um, you know, wired in mesh. I'll probably do mesh on the bottom just so nothing digs underneath it. I've done pretty some pretty gnarly chicken coops in the past where we had bobcats and coyotes and stuff like that, and you know, um, other types of predatorial raccoons, big raccoons, and other properties we've had. So I'm always trying to make keep the chickens safe. You hate to come out and see your chickens getting uh, attacked by animals. Um, 
hard enough to keep the dogs you know, from, from messing with them. So anyway, just a little prequel. That will be the 8x8 chicken coop mansion and we will build a little chicken run. And uh, that'll be the next structure we do up at our property um, in Northern Arizona. So stay tuned. Hopefully within the next uh, two to three weeks tops, I will have the build on this or the, re the rebuild because it's already been built and the reinforcement and um, I guess some good advice. I mean, check out Craigslist, check out Offer Up, check out Facebook Marketplace, wherever you're, you find your resources, the local, they got a Penny Saver magazine or they got a Nifty Nickel or whatever you got in their local area. But um, I mean, this is 200 bucks, um, you know, which so some people might seem like a crazy way to spend your money, but you can't even buy a third of this material for 200 bucks right now with how much wood costs. So if I can go to someone's house and dismantle a uh, perfectly good shed, and what I'll do when I rebuild it, I'll rebuild it with better structure. I'll, I'll reframe it a little bit or add framing structure support and I'll build it into whatever I want. So anyway, stay tuned. Chicken Coop Mansion coming up. Hope everyone's staying safe out there. We'll talk to you guys soon.